Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are working on solving similar triangles using proportional reasoning. So here we have two triangles. These are similar, which means that the corresponding angles have to be equal and the corresponding sides are proportional. That means that this angle here is equal to this angle here. This angle is equal, equal to this angle, and this one is equal to this one. And then this side, let me do it like this, this side here is proportional to this side. Then this side is proportional to this side and this side is proportional to this side. And what that means is that we have a scale factor. Because this is the smaller of the two triangles, we can take each of these sides, multiply them by a scale factor, and we will get the corresponding side length over here. So we multiply by the same scale factor on each side to get each side over here. We can also do this using proportional reasoning because sometimes the problems are a little more difficult to do. This one, you may already guess what the scale factor is, but sometimes the scale factor is a, a rational or a decimal number that's difficult for you to compute in your head. So in that case, we follow our steps for solving a, propor a, a proportion, and we're going to do that now. So in class, we use the same method every time. You can do it other ways, but this is the one that we've been doing um, typically in class. So you notice that we have a variable here, n, and a variable here, m. So we have to do the set up two different proportions to solve for each one of these variables. Let's solve for the n value here first. So the convention we've been using in class is to set up our proportion with big triangle, over small triangle equals big triangle over small triangle. So now let's sub in the sides that are corresponding. Here, this 24 corresponds with this 6. So we're going to set up our proportion 24 over 6 equals and if we want to solve for the n, we need to make sure we choose the pair of sides that has the variable n in it. So we're going to do 28 over n, like this. Now we're going to continue to solve this proportion. We solve the proportion by first um, cross-multiplying to eliminate the fractions, because we don't like to see those fractions. That usually scares us, so we're going to get rid of them. So n times 24 gives us 24n on the left, and on the right, 6 times 28 is 168. Now to solve this, we need to divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable. So in this case, it's 24. These cancel, and we're left with n equals 7 centimeters. So that is the missing side here seven centimeters. Now let's do this again to solve for the side length m. So we're going to follow the same convention that we have here to set up the proportion. Let's choose the 24 and the 6 again because those are the numbers that were given to us in the problem so we know for sure that they are correct. So 24 over 6 equals, now we're going to choose the pair of sides that correspond with the m m over 8. Okay. Now we have a proportion that we need to solve. The easiest way for us to do that is to cross multiply first. 6 times m is 6m. And on the other side we get 8 times 24 which is 192. Now we divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable. In this case it's 6. These cancel, and we're left with m equals 32 centimeters. 
So the M here, the missing side, is 32 centimeters. Now we can check that by going back and looking at our scale factor. So here, this 6 corresponds with the 24. To go from 6 to 24, we multiply by 4. So this number is what we call the scale factor. That means that 8 times 4 should give us 32 for the M side, which is what we got here, and N times 4, so that was, we got 7, times 4 gives us 28, so that answer was correct as well. Thanks for watching, Mrs. A Loves Math.